everyone, hello, we are Group 5 and we're going to tackle all about the early childhood which is the development of the preschooler. So let's call on Miss Jamaica. So hello everyone, I'm Jamaica Alberto Gasse. Um, what is early childhood? Early childhood, uh, end of infancy to 5 to 6 years old, preschool years, grade 1. Young children learn to become more self-sufficient and care for themselves, develop school readiness skills, and spend many hours in play with peers. Um, ang early childhood ay uh, isang period of rapid, uh, may physical, mental, emotional, and language development of a child. During this stage, children are highly influenced by environment and the people that surround them. Um, it is very important from all aspects of development. Kung saan ang early childhood ay nagre-refers ng isang physical, physiological, cognitive, and social development na na-experience ng mga bata uh, between birth and school going, going age. So, the first school years is commonly known as the years before formal schooling begins. Dito ay ang preschool ta, ang preschool taon ay nag, napakahalaga dahil um, ito ay naglalagay ng pundasyon sa susunod na pag-unlad. Kung saan ang mga batang nasa early childhood ay sila ay nakaka-experience ng pagsusulat. Natututo sila magsulat ng shape and number at dito sila natututong makipag ano alubilo sa mga ibang bata na mas focus na lang yung paglalaro. Thank you! Hi, my name is Jan Aren and I'm here to report about physical development of the preschoolers. Physical, young children are growing at the rapid rate. For example, as a child to use their left hand to go over their head and touch their right ears. It's impossible for them to accomplish although their body proportion are similar to an infant. They still have very large heads and short appendages. The child's arm will have stretched by the time he or she is 5 years old and their heads will be smaller in comparison to the rest of their growing body because of these physical changes they are able to easily complete. Six big ideas about physical development of preschoolers. Number one, there are significant changes in physical growth of preschoolers. Like for example, in height, weight, and shoe size. Number two, the preschoolers' physical development is marked by the acquisition of gross and fine motor skills. Number three, preschoolers can ex express themselves artistically at the very early age, for example, through artworks. Number four, proper nutrition and the right amount of sleep are very important for the preschoolers. Number five, Caregivers and teachers can do a lot in maximizing the growth and development of preschoolers. And lastly, for number 6, preschoolers with special needs in included classrooms that thrive well with the appropriate adaptation made in classroom materials and the activities. Hello everyone, I'm Jane Morales. There is a steady increase in children's height, weight, and muscle tone during preschool years. Preschoolers are taller and slimmer than toddlers. Their trunks and legs are still growing and their heads are no longer as large as they used to be. The areas of the brain that control movement and preschoolers' body mature over time, allowing them to perform gross motor skills like running, jumping, throwing, climbing, kicking, and skipping and fine motor skills like stringing beads, drawing, and cutting with scissors. A toddler has a high center of gravity to support their neck. As they grow older, the center of, the gra the center of gravity falls to the middle part of the body because their body matured and became more proportionate. 
the age of three, the child can climb well, run easily, pedals a tricycle, walks up and down the stairs, and wash the and dry hands. At the age of four, the child will be able to hoop and stand on one foot up to two seconds, mashes on food, catches a bounce ball most of the time, draw a person with two to four body parts, and use scissors. At the age of five, the child will learn to stand on one foot for 10 seconds or longer hoops and may be able to skip uses a fork and spoon and swings and climbs good day everyone i'm jasmine rose bader and i and i will be reporting about pc Every human being created in this world has a change since you were a baby and as you grow older, there is, there is physical and psychological development happen. The head and trunk are balanced by stretching the arms and legs to catch up. As they grow older, their baby pads begin to disappear as they develop slimmer, straighter bodies with the strong muscles needed for work and play. Young children can can expect to gain 2 to 3 inches in height per year on average. In their early years, babies and young children go through rapid and extensive physical and psychological changes that affect their future health and well-being. Maintaining a healthy weight and developing strong bones, muscles, and heart can all benefit from physical development. Since yung bata ay nag nagsisimula ng lumaki, marami ding physical changes na nangyayari sa katawan nila. Nakakaya nila i-balance yung ulo nila, hindi kagaya ng babies pa sila, iniingatan pa yung ulo nila kasi malambot pa. At hindi pa rin flexible yung mga bones nila. Madali sila mababalian ng buto kaya iniingatan ng mga baby pag kinakarga pero as they grow, yung bones nila ay nagiging matibay na at saka yung mga baby fats nila nawawala na din. Nagiging slim at straighter yung katawan nila at muscles na kailangan nila para sa pagkilos or paglalaro nila. And nagbabago na din yung height nila. Humahaba sila ng 2 to 3 inches ang height per year. And kailangan din i-maintain yung health ng mga bata para sa strong development ng kanilang bones, muscles, and heart. Para maganda ang kanilang paglaki. Kasi kung hindi naman tama yung nutrients na makukuha ng katawan nila, may mga late na magiging changes ang katawan nila. Example na lang din natin yung height and body weight nila. Pag di angkop yung nutrients na makukuha ng katawan nila, nagiging malnourished sila at ang payat nilang tignan. At madali rin silang magkakasakit. Hindi kagaya pag tama yung makinakain ng isang bata, magiging malusog siya at hindi siya mabilis magkasakit. Yan lang po. Thank you. Thank you for wonderful explanation, Ms. Jasmine. So let's proceed to cognitive development of the preschooler, which may be discussed by me, Jenny Rose. Preschooler Symbolic and Intuitive Thinking There are two substages of Piaget's pre-operational thought, namely Symbolic Substage and Intuitive Substage. In Symbolic Substage, uh, the preschooler or the child is able to plan with their friends what they uh, what they are gonna play or notice their play becomes a mini drama. So alam naman po natin na mahilig po ang mga bata na maglaro ng nanay tatay tapos um, mahilig din po sila maglaro ng mga mga manika na binibigyan po nilang buhay. Kita na lang natin sila sa gilid na kinakausap ang kanilang mga laruan pinapaliguan, inaayusan. Next is Intuitive thinking at this stage, children ask many questions as they attempt to understand the world around them using an immature reasoning. So, curious sila kung ano ang nangyayari sa paligid natin kung an or kung ano ang nasa paligid natin. Like, for example, uh, tinatanong nila kung bakit daw nakakahinga ang mga isda sa ilalim ng tubig pero ang mga tao ay hindi. Next is pretend play. I just said a while ago that uh, mahilig po maglaro ang mga bata ng play or mini play. Katulad nga po ng nanay at tatay, uh, yung mga manika po nila ay binibigyan po nilang buhay. 
So, next is egocentrism. In early childhood, it refers to the tendency of a young children not to be able to take perspective of others and instead the child thinks that everyone sees things and feels just as they do. Uh, an egocentric child is not able to infer the perspective of the other people instead attribute his own perspective to situation. For example, sa dalawa pong magkapatid, uh, ang gusto pong laruin ng isa ay panlalaki lamang. Hindi niya naisip na babae ang kapatid niya, kaya gusto niya ang laruin nila ay panlalaki. So next is conservation errors. Conservation errors refers to the ability to recognize that the moving or rearranging matter does not change the quantity. For example, Ito nga pong si picture na may mga container, um, conservation, conservation of liquid. Does a pouring liquid in a tall, narrow container make it have more? So, sa isip po ng mga bata is um, mas marami pong tingnan um, nasa container na letter C na mas manipis pero mas mataas at mas maunti naman ang solusyon ng mas mababang ngunit wider ang container. Kasi po, yun nga po, ang mga bata po hindi po nila napapansin or hindi po nila consider ang size ng container. Ngunit, tinitignan lang man po nila kung ano ang nasa loob ng container o ang solusyon. This is classification of errors. Pre-operational children have difficulty understanding that an object can be classified in one more than one way. For example, if you shown three white buttons and four black buttons and asked whether there are more black buttons or buttons, the child is likely to respond that there are more black buttons. They do not consider the general class of buttons because children lack this general classes. Their reasoning is typically transductive that is making faulty interfor from one specific example to another. So lastly is animism. It refers to attributing lifelike qualities to object. Uh, like for example, the teddy bear is alive. Their yung mga laruan po nila is pinapangalanan po nila. Katulad po ng nasa cartoons, yung mga bagay is nagsasalita. So, brain connection in the preschool years. Because of fascinating development in neuroscience, brain development of young children have been a great interest to the field of early childhood. So, we all know that our brain uh, is paid up or our brain has an 50 billion neurons at birth and by the age of two uh, children have developed half of the brain cells connection that will be made during one's lifetime around six years of age the brain develops for more sophisticated thinking patterns so um in brain development of a preschooler, it shows a child increasing ability to understand his or her environment. As the children grow and develop, they will learn many things and begin to solve problems in their daily life. So, alam naman po natin na we can't, hindi po tayo makaka-stuck sa isang stage. Matututo at matututo pa rin po tayo pag nagtagal ang panahon, patagal ng patagal. Uh, natututo ang bata, nakakaintindi ng mga bagay-bagay sa kanilang paligid. Uh, young preschool begins to count objects using one number for each item. So, marunang na po silang magbilang, marunang na po silang magbasa pa unti-unti. Um, the young preschooler also, uh, they notice the properties of objects. So, napapansin na po nila yung kulay ng mga bagay, uh, yung size, at saka yung kung ano pong klaseng texture, yun po, mas naiintindihan na po nila yun. Um, young preschooler begin to use problem-solving skills during activities such as planning, building block structure, or baking cookies. So, sa stage na po nito, 
mas naiintindihan na po nilang or mas nagagawa na po nila ng paraan uh, step by step yung mga problema po nila like uh, pa naglalaro po sila niya at uh, building blocks or pag nagbibake sila ng cookies kaya na po nilang gawin step by step yung mga para po makapag uh, accomplish nila ng gagawin nila so young preschooler uh, be, are interested in learning about their bodies and other living things in the environment including pet, pets and plants so yung preschool age din po or uh, early childhood stage po um mas gusto po nila mas curious po sila sa mga bagay na may na living things like uh, yung mga animals po gusto po nila na maka-encounter kung bakit kung ano pong klase uh, hayop or paano sila nabubuhay uh, saan sila nakatila gusto po nilang malaman yun so young preschooler uh, begin to understand the order of events in their day so Uh, nagsisimula na rin silang uh, nagsisimula na rin silang matuto kung ano po yung pinagawa sa pang-araw-araw natin like uh, sa umaga kung makain sa tanghali kung makain sa gabi kung makain ganun po so in language development at this stage children getting better at conversation they can use longer sentences uh, take turns speaking the preschooler can say what they are thinking, tell stories and describe feelings um, adults can understand most of what preschooler say so, uh, at this stage or early childhood um, mas lumalawak din po ang pananalita ng bata which uh, kung ano po yung nasa isip nila nasasabi na nila pero po yung iba mas Ibang bata po, kasi po iba-iba yung bata. Uh, merong ibang nabubulol pa, merong uh, sobrang matatas magsalita. So, at this stage, uh, mas uh, dito po mapapalawak ng bata kung, pa, kung ang kanilang pananalita uh, ay mas, mas magiging matatas kasi nga po uh, nakakapasok nila sa daycare or preschooler na po mas naiintindihan na po ng teacher kung ano po yung sinasabi nila. Uh, hindi po tulad ng baby na parang uh, magsasalita. Hindi po kompleto. Dito po sa stage na to, mas, na, mas uh, nasa-show na po nila yung feelings nila kasi nasasabi na nila yung gusto nilang sabihin. So, in language and social interaction, because we believe that young children use language both to communicate socially and to plan life. So, and monitor their behavior in self-regulatory fashion both inner speech or private speech. For Puget, um, private speech is egocentric and immature. But for Vygotsky, it is an important tool of thought during early childhood. Well, cognitive development requires social um, social interaction and language. Children must use language to communicate with the others before they can focus on their own thoughts. So, um, alam naman po natin na ang mga bata ay mahili uh, makipaglaro sa ibang bata. Um, this stage or in early childhood, uh, gusto po nila makipag-socialize sa ibang bata at, at sa ganun, mas maintindihan nila kung ano po nangyayari sa kanilang kapaligiran o mas matututo po silang makisama. Importante din po sa bata na uh, ang pagiging, uh, ang pagsisocialize sa ibang bata ay mas makatutulong po sa development ng bata para mas ma-improve po sila uh, sa, pag- sa pagiging socialize. Mahirap naman po ang bata ko hindi po sila makipag-socialize. Bakit? Kasi po, uh, magiging mahiyain po ang bata at ma- mapiprevent po nito yung pag- pag-develop ng bata or hindi, ma- hindi nila maiintindihan kung paano, makis- kung paano sila makikisama sa ibang bata. Much better po na makipag-socialize.
Hi everyone, my name is Jennifer M. Ramil. The Young Children's Theory of Mind Theory of Mind refers to individual thought about how mental process work. Two or three years old, children become aware that the, ch- the, that the mind exists. It refers to what they need, emotion, and mental states. So, it is an important social cognitive skill that involves the ability to think about mental states, both your own and those others. For example, yung bata, iisipin niya nagugutom siya, kaya kukunin niya yung tinapay or aabutin niya yung tinapay sa lamasa. Sa psikolohiya, ang, tekno- ang teorya ng pag-iisip ay tumutukoy sa kakayahang maunawaan ang ibang tao sa pamamagitan ng pag-uugnay sa mga estado ng pag-iisip sa kanila. Receptive language, the, the child is able to understand both verbal and non-verbal. For example, when they demanding something, 3 to 4 years old speaks in a simple way, and 4 to 5 years old draw, draw and tell a story about his drawing. This is the start when they learn to think or uh, when they think a process or scenario on their mind. Pre-reading and pre-math matching. The child is able to match identical objects and colors, shapes, and symbols. This preschooler pre-reading skills help parents and educators know what to look for as a child develop. Development is followed. For example, two and a half to three years old matches identical objects with two attributes, and three to four years old copies simple patterns with two or more more attributes and continues this without guidance. Pre-reading and pre-math, copying letters and numbers. The child is able to recite the alphabet and numbers in sequence. Copy a model of horizontal line, trace around the edge of a basic shape template. For example, 3 to 4 years old, print uppercase letter with the model with some reversals and 4 to 5 years old prints complete name without model. They already know how to draw a person with three different body parts or body shape. Color mostly within lines in a coloring book. Domain Cognitive development that the child is able to sustain attention and modulate his activity at age expected levels. So, cognitive development means how children think, explore, and figure things out. For example, 5 to five to 6 years old can work on a school assignment independently. Concept formation. The child develops basic concepts pertaining to object contency, space, time, quantity, duration, and uses this as the basis for understanding how materials are categorized in his or her environment. So, for example, two and a half to three years old knows the difference between a recent event and that happens a long time ago. So, yun yung mga bagay na halimbawa, namimit nila sa school tapos parang ang bilis agad nila makalimutan kung sino yun or sino sila or mabilis sila makagar- makaalala parang ganun. Cause and effect relationship. The children is able to understand the cause and effect relationship. Um, children vary considerably in their capacity to understand the conceptual conceptual basis of skills and content areas in school. For example, three to four years old understand reason behind rules and particular practices in school. And another example is the concept of furni- furniture include table, chairs, bed, and bookcases. Memory, episod- ep- episodic memory. The child is able to recall people. Episodic memory. The child is able to recall people he has met, events, and places he has been to. Episodic memory refers to the conscious recollection of a person experience that contains information. For example, two and a half to three years old talks about things that happened during a particular a particular event that occurred some time back. So, di ba po yung mga bata is mahilig silang magkwento kung ano ba yung bagay-bagay na nangyari sa kanila, kung sino yung nakilala nila, or kahit Let's say parang ano na lang, parang 
parang nonsense na para sa iba pero sa kanila parang ang laking bagay nun memory for concept face knowledge semantic memory the child is able to store verbal information in short and long term memory semantic memory refers to the memory of meaning understanding general knowledge about the world for example three to four years old memorize a short lyrics of a song so mabilis na po sila makaalala so parang pagka ganun po kung ano po yung maririnig nila parang nag-enter agad sa isip nila then parang naisip nila kung ano yon kaya na nilang gawin parang na-adapt po nila kung ano yung naririnig nila mabilis po rin silang makaalala planning and organizing the child is able to plan and recognize and organize a simple familiar activity um For example, three to four years old can then dress following an organized sequence, develops schedules and tab- timetables with clear, specific milestone and deadlines. Cognitive flexibility. Um, the child is able to shift to more adaptive cognitive proce- processing strategies in order to effectively deal with new and unexpected conditions in his or her environment, including problem situation. Cognitive flexibility occurs in the main ways, the ability to think about multiple things at the same time and the ability to modify thinking based on a change in expectation or demand. So for example po, um, problem solving. So parang mabilis lang ba nilang alam yun, ganun. Mabilis nilang mapag-aralan, ma- parang misip agad sila ng strategy kung paano siya sol- solusyonan, ganun. Thank you po. Hello everyone, my name is Joyna Colana. So there is four stages of cognitive development. The first one is sensory motor stage, birth to two years. So, the sensory motor stage is the first stage of your child's life. So, ito yung natututo ang mga bata about the world through basic actions uh, such as sucking, paghawak, pagtingin, or pakikinig. Um, however, as babies develop cognitive skills, uh, they start thinking about their behaviors and reacting to different stimuli such as noises, movement, and emotions. So, the next one is pre-operational stage, ages 2 to 7. So, during the pre-operational stage, children also become increasingly adept at using symbols, as evidenced by the increase in playing and pretending. So, uh, for example, a child is able to use an object to represent something else, um, such as pretending na isang walis ay isang kabayo. And the next one is concrete operational stage. Um, in the concrete operational stage of cog- cognitive development from about 7 to 12 years of age. So, ito yung ang mga bata ay nakakakuha ng uh, mga kakayahan at, and mental operations that allow them na mag-isip ng logically about concrete events uh, such as uh, mathematical operations and principles and conservation. And the last one is formal operational stage ages 12 and up. So, formal operational stage at uh, ito na yung nagmamature at gumagawa ng sariling decision. So, at this point in development, thinking become much more sophisticated and advanced. So, ang mga bata ay maaring mag about abstract and theoretical concepts and use logic to come up with creative solutions to problems. And that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Ryan. So let's proceed to social-emotional development of the preschooler, which may be discussed by Ms. Ella. Hello everyone, I'm Sheila Valdez. Social emotional development includes the child's experience expression means that kids are very attached to these factors 
in their lives. They tend to grow and develop their personalities as well with their experiences and feelings. That's why teacher and parent should promote social emotional development by encouraging a child or acknowledging the accomplishment of a child. During the preschool years, children learn about their overriding environment. Preschoolers now discover their new roles outside their home. They become interested to assert themselves as they relate with other people. A lot of very important social skills they will learn during the preschool years will help them to walk life as adults. These skills can even determine the, the individual's later social adjustment and consequent quality of relationship in adults life. Big ideas on preschoolers social emotional development. First, a kid with the age ranges 3 to 5 are the stage where initiative of common sense must be worked on. It needs to be a step-to-step -step process of development since they are still adapting to the situations they are encountering each day. A child or kid's mind needs to be worked on every day since it is still developing thus having a healthy self-concept is essential. It will help them know themselves more and when they do, they would be able to interact with people well because they understand emotions situations and problems so having the self-concept for preschoolers is undoubtedly important third in an instance a kid grow up surrounded by people that belong to lgbtq community there is no doubt that this would affect their way of seeing gender and it will give them idea on what is the, their gender by this we could definitely tell that kids who are young enough do not understand the value of their identities and self-concept. However, this is a case-to-case -case scenario since not all kids surrounded by such are influenced. Some of them are being educated by their parents to follow their belief and what they really are because at, the, at that age, it is very difficult to understand your preferences. That is why some kids just follow what they can see and what they can only understand. For it, a kid playing with their kid age is an example that they are able to interact and make friends. Meaning, they are aware of what they are doing and they are enjoying it. This is where social development would surface given that it will make them cooperate, interact, and share ideas. By this, we can conclude that they are able to socially interact. If a uh, preschooler is the stage where fragile emotionally, that's why they need double care when it comes to it. Because they can easily feel our care instantly and we need to be clear in our actions so they can get it properly. In the stage, the only thing that is on their mind is to play. So if there are many some stage around him or her, they only want to interact all of this each on one sided. They will do what they want. Environmental factors and gender in the preschooler's social emotional development. Gender typing means a child awareness when it comes to the gender. For example, a male child may attribute himself to the male gender by growing up and wanting to be the stereotype man. It means who wants to part with six general identity. So that is that it is assumed that they will behave in a particular way. Again, gender typing is the child awareness when it comes to the gender. Kids form their own gender identity by playing some toys like a boy who is cleaning a toy car, so his identity is a male. And a girl who is playing a party, then we can co conclude that she is a female. We depend on the toys that they prepare. Gender identity are influenced by environmental factors such as the family pictures, peers, and the mass media. A child's understanding of gender roles impacts how they socialize with their peers in relationships. Many children have a piercing, firm sense of their gender identity, while some children can experience gender identity confusion. Why? Because sometimes a boy wants to play a Barbie but he believes that he is a boy. It's maybe because all of his siblings are doing and that influences him much. Then the last one is self-concept. Self 
concept refers to general view and it focuses also on observable characteristics. Once they have learned something or observed something, they feel eagerness to do that. They became proud when they surprise surpass something that they should be proud of. They think that they are already independent child when they did something by their own. Hello everyone, my name is Sheila Marie M. Daamo. Part 10 Stage of Play Play is the main agenda of preschool years. Play has a social dimension as the preschooler develops social interaction with playmate increase. Mildred Partons in 1930s did a study that children play behavior when led to part and stage of play. Since the numerous studies have followed using the stage of frameworks, Partons has six different types of play. An occupied play, when the children is not playing, just observing. Solitary play, when the children is alone and maintain focus on its activity. Onlooker play, when the child play but does not engage in look in it. Parallel play, when the child plays separately from other but close to them and making their action. Associative play, when the child interested in the people playing but not in co coordinating their activities with those people or where there is no organized activity at all. Cooperative play, when a child interested but in the people of playing and in the activity they are doing. Friendship in preschool. As they continue to grow preschooler, become interested is, interested is having friends. They should be encouraged in the preschool years as friendship benefit the preschoolers. Development by providing stimulate, stimulation, assistance, companionship, social, and compa comparison and affection. Caregiving style. Caregiving style affects the social emotional developments of the children. Caregiver here refers to both parents and teacher and even the other adult care for the child. Bomberman caregiving style. Authoritative have high expectation for achievement and maturity, but they are also warm and responsive. Authoritarian. These parents use stern discipline and often employ harsh punishment such as corporal punishment as the way of obtain behavioral control. Permissive parents set very few rules and boundaries and they are reluctant to enforce rules. Neglectful parents do not set firm boundaries or high standards. That's all. Thank you. I'm John Lloyd. I will report, report all about expression of basic emotion. So at the age of 3 to 4 years old, he feel like and dislike on simple situation. Example, kapag may gusto siyang gamit at hindi pumayag ang parents niya, mapipil niya nung pag-adala mix emotions kumbaga dahil sa bagay na yon minsan naabot din sa point na man, malung, lungkot minsan papasok na rin doon ng galit as a children self regulation feelings emotion so dito naman is accept defeat is not a sore loser so, dito is you need to accept defeat dahil hindi naman ito kawalan sa'yo. Because as a kid, mapifeel mo yung lungkot. Lungkot sa'yo, need mo. So, you need to accept it. Hindi yan magiging big deal sa'yo as a child. Next, preserve when face the challenging or new task. E or new task. In this case, you need to face the challenging moments or task dahil hindi naman ito palagi may masama o may mabuting pangyayari sa iyo so you need to face it next may have some fear but is not overly fearful anxious or nervous so as a children or as a child in this case you getting scared or fear so kailangan mo magpaka positive sa lahat because if you brought you are brought what you feel you are getting nervous or anxious so pahantong yun sa ganun as a child so 
mas maiging maiwasan yun. May feel sad times but it's not over it to the point where he she is depressed. Kapag na nadala ka sa kalungkutan mo at hindi naman naabot sa depression, be positive palagi. As a kid, hindi mo need magpadala sa sadness mo. So you need to be positive palagi. Next, this display self appraisal emotion. Shame, pride, guilt. Dito naman is play to learn a game. You need to learn how to play outside. As a help, as for a help, talk to your playmates so you will know how to play a game. Show ple- pleasure, enjoyment. Achieve successful attempts or effort. So as a children or as a child. So kailangan maging masaya ka lang o enjoyin mo kung anong mga successful attempts or, or efforts ang iyong nagagawa para din sa inyong mga magulang na nagbabantay sa inyo seek assistance from adult or child to solve a problem so in this case if nahihirapan ka sa mga gawain mo as a help on, a, on an adult or child para magabayang kanila kung ano man ang iyong problema ang kinakarap. Next, the role of caregiver, caregivers in social emotional development of preschooler. Use dolls, puppets, or picture to help children understand what it means to, to feel strongly about something in your body. So, dito naman Masya, um, kailangan mo as a caregiver you need to get a puppet or picture fic- pictures tapos i-demonstrate mo sa bata kung ano yung ibig sabihin nun para in case na hindi talaga niya magets at doon niya lang nagets nung isang sitwasyon na yun magigets na isang child kung ano ba ang isang gawain yun acknowledge how children feel recognized the children feels so for example when you say one can say nalulungkot ka dahil hindi ka nakasama sa isang party you seem that sad that you will not did go to party when to do this you are able to model a preschooler that is important to listen and that having feeling even even negative ones are okay Next, do not just say good job or very good. Just say when I saw the pack away your toys, I feel really happy. Don't forget to pack away your toys. So, catch the children going good, affirm the efforts, and to make accomplish something by specific or your praise. Bale dito is, wag mo lang basta i-greet siya ng good job, very good yan. Ipa-apply mo rin sa bata or sa chi- children kung ano nung dapat gawin like pag lilikpit or baliwigay ito na lang specific term na ininisin nung mga pinaglaruan nila ituro kung ano nung tama at kung paano ay gawin yun and that's it on my report thank you so that's all for our reporting thank you for listening we hope that you learned something new today. So before we end our discussion, we will be having a quiz. So please answer the question correctly. Mm-hmm.